Stretching for around 100 miles in length, the 100-yard wide rift in the Larsen Sea ice shelf has grown rapidly in recent weeks. Just 12 miles of frozen material is keeping this enormous iceberg from drifting away into the sea. Collapsing ice shelves are not uncommon in Antarctica. As these pictures show, these fragmentations can dramatically affect the landscape, creating icebergs of all shapes and sizes. A team of British researchers have been travelling down to Antarctica to monitor the growing crack in the Larsen Sea ice shelf for several years. But they have been surprised by the dramatic expansion in the rift that's taken place in just two weeks in December. What we have found is that uh, the rift that's been in there in this ice shelf for, for a number of years uh, has broken through another 18 kilometres and is now at risk of giving birth to an iceberg about a quarter of the size of Wales. And the significance of that is that it's a very large iceberg that will go out into the open ocean, but also that the remaining ice shelf, uh, we believe, will be less stable than before the rift was there. When large icebergs break off the edge of an ice shelf like the Larsen B in 2002, it can have a dramatic effect on the stability of the entire structure. At Larsen B, most of the remaining shelf disintegrated in less than a month. Experts at the British Antarctic Survey are worried that any new iceberg formation could have long-term consequences. When the ice shelf loses this ice, it may then start to collapse. And if that were to occur, then the glaciers that feed the ice shelf could flow faster and contribute more to sea level rise over the next few decades. When it shears away, the new iceberg will be one of the biggest ever recorded, around 50 times the size of Manhattan Island. But despite concerns about the impacts of global warming, researchers say they have no evidence that climate change is playing any significant role in the new iceberg's formation. Matt McGrath, BBC News.